Hello, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to properly work a Bunsen burner. Uh, to start things off, you can find these starters right over there in that drawer. Well, it's a cat now, but. But most journally, like 99% of the time, people will put them right here in these drawers because most labs you'll need a Bunsen burner. And see, just to prove it, there's one in that drawer too. Um, but most, some people, they don't know how to open these doors. There's a little latch on the door that you press and it opens it. It's real common stuff. Um, but before we turn the gas on, we want to make sure we hook this up. So you want to take this and you just want to thread it up on there like so and then to always just to be safe there's a red lever back here and the gas is always shut off so you want to reach back here and you want to turn it on like so so your gas is on now so now to get it to flow through here you just I smell gas. Wasn't me. <laughs> you ready? Just and you can adjust the flame as needed. And these barrels are threaded, so you can turn it easily. It just screws in there. That kind of tells you how much air it's getting. Places that you can touch on the Bunsen burner would be about from here down. You never want to grab the tip. That's always the hottest part. You want to go from the base down, like this. Anywhere from there down. See, I can pick it up from right here. I'm safe. But the second I go to pick it up from here, I'll burn myself. So, this controls the height of it, see? It's getting higher, it's getting lower. Higher, lower. And if you let yourself get too much oxygen to your Bunsen burner, your flame will eventually go out, you see. Okay, so now to change, you most generally, what if you're ever putting anything under a Bunsen burner, you want to keep it at the tip of this inner blue cone that is the hottest point in this fire right there now color of your fire also matters you don't want an or most of you everybody fires orange but see you don't want a color like that that just looks terrible and plus anything that you're working under there that's not going to be if you're trying to like use a crucible to and put some magnesium strips in there this will never start it you'll have to kind of go like this went out but I'm gonna talk to you guys about ring stands now your uh, your ring stand here that'll go like that. Now, whenever you have something setting on this ring stand, like let's just say a cruise floor or whatever, say that you're lighting it something, you always want to have what you're lighting at the tip of this inner blue cone. If the camera person would be so kind as to come over here. That blue cone right there. You and uh, whenever you have this running, after a while, you never grab this ring right here because it is always extremely hot. As she told me, right up here. You slide them on. I'm gonna teach you how to slide them on too. So, you take these four fingers, you slide it in right there, and then you just take your thumb, stick it in over here. Now let's say, oh, all right, time to clean up. So then you can hold at the base of this, twist, 
with this thing. See? I am not burning myself at all. I have burned myself many times on this thing, but I am currently not burning myself. It's assembly of a Bunsen burner. Okay, this thing isn't hot, but we, we're make pretending like it was. You want to put everything back exactly how you found it. You want to make sure that's off. You want to take off this black hose. And then you're going to want to come back here, camera lady. And you're going to want to shut off the gas. Just as you turned it on, you're going to want to shut it off. And now the gas is off. So then, you can stand back up, but I'm already down here. You're going to want to take your ring stand, slide it in here like this, and then you take your Bunsen burner. Never turn this up like this. I forgot to mention that. Never coil this around because it could break the hose. You just sit it right here and let that hose hang out. And then shut the door. And you put away all your equipment exactly how you found it. And then you exit the lab station and you firmly take off your safety glasses. It was lab station.